All right, I thought I'd go ahead and get a little bit of video while it was not quite so cold, not quite so snowy. This is the base of my tracker. You can see it there, the motor. Uh, it's a three inch piece of um, Schedule 40 pipe. With a bracket built into it there. And then I've got some angle iron holding a piece of three and a half inch that it swivels on to raise it up and down. Some more of the uh, angle iron right there holding the um, actuator on. And this three and a half inch pipe, the three inch pipe slides down inside there, as you can see, and that's what allows it to be able to turn. And this has got a cap on the end of it that's been welded on. But it's also got a hole underneath it to allow water to drain out of it. Here is a cross member, the bottom of it, uh, that holds the bottom panel. And you can see the iron there underneath it that kind of supports that bent out here at the ends and welded to the bottom of the pipe there and welded to the top there. Underneath, you can see I've got a piece of that same metal that holds this all together and then the supports underneath they come back here on the 10 foot piece. This is 10 pieces 10 foot across right here. This piece going up there is 14 feet long. That allows me to be able to get four panels that are 67, 66 inches wide on here in one, one shot. And you can see there's my three inch pipe there. And take a look at those welds. I did a good job on that. This pipe here goes up to the tracker uh, eye up there at the top. You can kind of see it there. On the back here, I got a 10 foot piece of two and a half inch, uh, three eighths, or three, yeah, three eighths metal uh, on a triangle. You know, the triangle actually holds that up. Cut it 60 degrees on the back, on the bottom there, or 30 degrees on the bottom, 60 at the top with that welded up inside there. It's a three inch schedule 40 pipe or three inch, a two inch quarter inch uh, pipe uh, square that's up underneath there. You see it's moving now. And there it goes, it's moving a little bit there. At the top, I've got a piece of that three and a half inch pipe that's holding it up here. Notice it's kind of slid back a little bit. So I've got the cable on there. I need to put uh, that ring I've got on the front. I need to put one on the back as well. But this cable holds it pretty well right now, so leave it there. Notice here it's extended up right now. You can see that two inch pipe, or two inch uh, square that's holding that up. I need to come along by tying to this and raise it up with that to raise the angle for winter time. In the summer, I'll drop it down. It'll be about about 20 degrees then. The panels, Solar World SW275s. They got the M phase M250 uh, inverters on there. Now, also had to drill holes for each one of these rails. I, I went ahead and got the package and the L bracket right here that holds the the rail on that the, that the panels sit on. Uh, actually had to be drilled in there. I had to do that later on. You need to do that first before you do that. I got one, two, you see it there, three here, and three over there. So there's actually six on each side. Uh, and then the same thing over here. I've got uh, a hole here at the bottom to hold that rail on there, and then down at the bottom down there as well. Uh, and this uh, I had to use, I got the uh, strong arm HD to be able to do that, uh, to do it while it was sitting up here because everything was up and I had to drill all the holes for that. And you can see right there one of the screws for the holes. But here's the four trackers underneath one of them here. And there's one. Let's 
see here, I'll walk out in the yard a little bit. Since it's cloudy, they're all pointing different directions. But the most I've gotten so far, and this is in a day in, uh, in, Mar in uh, February, I got 77 kilowatt hours. Just about, I was about a 100 watts shy of 77 kilowatt hours uh, one day in February. So I hope it's going to do a lot more than that in April, May, June, and July. And maybe I'll take care of all my electric bill at that point. But there they are. Something else too, you might also, if you want to use, use more yard, spread them out a little bit. I do get a little bit of shading in the evenings and in the morning. But I still get full, this is west. I still get full sun on that one over there. And uh, it's, it actually collects a lot um, for a few hours afterwards. So this is the one that I have that uses the, I have the batteries here that move the, 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 the that move the uh, trackers. 26 volt panel, 26 volt batteries, uh, two 12 volt batteries together, they all feed into a bus that feed 26 volts up to the uh, trackers, uh, the circuitry. And you can see the tracker right there at the top. If you look real close, you can see that. And what that allows me to do is have uh, 26 volts on these on these motors instead of just 12, which works a little bit better. Alright, well that's it. Uh, I'll have some more stats posted and I'll try to put together some information about um, the materials you need to be able to build it. But uh, I'll try to hopefully try to show you how to put these together. Thanks for watching. Just wanted to add in there, also this pipe, that square, is the... Uh, the 11 gauge square, the thicker square uh, tubing that you use on there. And you see, I've got a hole right there. I'm going to take some, taking some, uh, on the advice of a friend, I'll take some of the uh, stuff, squ spray it in there, let it expand out, cut that off to seal it up so it doesn't mess up in the summertime. Notice again how the these are welded on here, kind of also support the weight of the panels on the top. So they're just welded there in the center, welded out here at the sides too, all the way up, all the way around. And then right there. Those three inch pipes, if you get a three inch PVC pipe at the end up there, cap it off with that. It does a pretty good job. These holes are about a foot apart. You can kind of see the holes right there. I need to repaint everything this this fall or this, this spring. The base sits on a swivel bracket. See it there. Number eight bolts all around. Load it up here. Load it there. And that's the system.